we are going to solve another problem on number generation. So here the number will be the prime number. So here is the problem for us. Find out whether a given number is prime or not. Okay. So if we give the number like say 101, then the output will be it is a prime number. But if we give a number say 20, then the output will be it is not a prime number. So from the previous videos on this number generation series, try to solve this problem getting the conception from there. Otherwise, the practical demonstration for the implementation of this problem in C language is following next. In this program, the assignment is that find out whether a given number is prime or not. We are supposed to calculate that one. So, we have taken input from the keyboard and the number has been stored onto the variable n. Here we are defining a variable called flag. This flag is equal to 1. Flag is equal to 1 means it logically symbolizes that the no factor has been obtained against that particular number. So number is still going to be a prime number. So flag is equal to 1 means I didn't find any factor against that given number n other than 1 and the number itself. We know that n is always having one factor that is 1. Another factor is the number itself that is n. So here we are executing my for loop from i is equal to 2, i less than equal to int of square root of n. In the previous video, while calculating all possible factors of a given number, we have shown you that how to get the for loop getting executed for minimum number of times to find out all possible factors. We know that factors will be coming in pairs. So if i is a factor of n, then another factor will be n by i. So here for i is equal to 2, i less than equal to int of square root of n. So that means here we shall execute the value of i from 2 to square root of n and then i is equal to i plus 1. And this process will be continued also when flag will remain with 1. But if I find that n percentage i is equal to, is equal to 0, that means the remainder of the division is 0, that means i is the factor of n, then I shall make flag is equal to 0, so that next time the loop cannot get executed. Because if I get any factor in between 2 to square root of n, then obviously the number cannot be prime. So in that case, no need to continue with the for loop further. So no need to continue with the for loop further. So that's why I'm making this flag is equal to 0 here. So that next time the loop cannot get executed because these two conditions are connected by AND logic. These two condi conditions are connected by AND logic. So if any one of them is failing, that means it will come out from the for loop. Now, after coming out from the for loop, I shall have to check whether the flag is still remaining with 1 or not. If the flag is still remaining with 1, that means this condition was not satisfied during the execution of the for loop. As a result of that, this number will be treated as a prime number. Otherwise, the number is not a prime number. So flag will remain as 1. If I didn't find any i, which is a factor of n, then flag will remain as 1 and then percentage d that is n will be declared as a prime number otherwise n will not be declared as a prime number. So let me, let me go for execution of this code for the better understanding. So now here you see I am giving a value say 101, I am giving a prime number here. So you see it is a prime number it is showing. I am just giving a value say 49 where it is having only one distinct factor that is 7. 1 and 49 will be the factor that is quite common but 7 is the only one distinct factor here you see it is telling that it is not a prime number that means it has been tested properly so if you go for the other one if you go for say 100 which is a perfect square and it is telling that it is not a prime number so my program is working well so let me go for the last value that is 20 which is neither prime number nor a perfect square number so here also it is telling that 20 is not a prime number. In this way, I have completed uh, the execution of my code. I think you are getting this logic. If you are having any other views to share with us, please write your comments in the comment block. And thanks for watching this video.